Hey guys, I'm Aaron. In this video series, we're making a robotic bartender that will mix drinks for you. In the last video, we built out a basic uh, rotating platform so that we can put drinks on it and eventually motorize that in the future. Uh, in this video part, we're going to create the rest of the structure so that we can mount all of our electronics to it. We also just got a 3D printer, so we're gonna 3D print a few parts for uh, the linear actuators that um, actuate the uh, spirit dispensers and pour the alcohol into the glass. So let's get started. All right, so I drew this circle in here with my Lazy Susan. So I just drew on the inside of the Lazy Susan so I can make a circle. And I'm going to use this, um, this large drill bit, drill a hole, and then use my jigsaw to cut out the center of this. Bill from Adafruit recommended that I put some craft foam between my Lazy Susan bearing and this wooden platform. He was saying that there could be some extra vibrations happening between uh, these two hard surfaces uh, rubbing together. Um, so this could potentially reduce some of the extra noise um, when it's spinning. Thank you. 
Okay, so here's the bracket that we talked about that we needed. This is going to hold our actuator using these four holes up here. And on the bottom we have four mounting holes, this guy, this guy, and these two guys. And that will mount straight to the post. So uh, when it's mounted, uh, it will be sort of at an angle pointed up that way. So that's the bracket. So the 3D printer is done and it printed this bracket for us and it looks pretty good. Except uh, when we try to put it on here, if we kind of line it up where it might go, it looks like that this uh, actuator isn't quite long enough. So I think we're going to have to make an extension for this actuator. Uh, I think we need about one and a half inches. So let's 3D print another part and uh, see if we can make it work. The next thing we needed was the actuator extension because it wasn't quite as long as we needed it to be. So we just need to make a little stub that goes on to the end um, to extend it just a little bit. So these are what it looks like. And uh, on the screen here, there are four of them just so that uh, we can print multiple pieces at the same time and save a little setup time. But as you can see, there's just a little cavity in the bottom uh, where the end of the actuator just goes into and it'll extend it by about an inch and a quarter. And these little tabs up here, that's just uh, for it to ride inside the lever arm. And that's the next thing we need because the lever arm uh, that we have for the dispenser wasn't uh, quite at the right angle that we needed. It had too much curvature, so we needed to make our own. So I uh, also had to model that, and this is what that looks like. So um, this arm up here is just a 30 degree angle. Uh, you can see that there is a little slot uh, inside this lever arm for that actuator extension uh, end piece to ride along as it's actuating the lever. So let's send these over to the 3D printer and uh, see what it looks like. Alright, so it looks like the extender got done printing and we got a little cavity in here and it looks like it's going to snap right on there. So look at that, we got about an inch and a quarter uh, of more extension here. Uh, but even that wasn't enough, so here's that uh, lever that we printed as well. And this is what the original piece looks like. So there's kind of a side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, but now if we put it in the relative position looks like it's going to give us a better angle and we have enough room uh, for the extension so I think this will work is that straight? All right, so we've been working hard on this bartender. I think it's time for a little break. I'm a little thirsty. I got a glass of tonic water here and I got a bottle of gin up here and I'm gonna pour myself a little G&T. So let's test this out and see if it works. Oh. One last thing before we end the video. We picked up these pumps on Amazon and we think that these will work much better than our pressure system. These are self-priming pumps. So what that means is you don't have to submerge them in water. Uh, you can start the pump out dry, uh, take fluid in, um, and then it just comes out this opening right here. And a very high flow rate. So we're thinking we could potentially hook this up to some sort of flow gauge to uh, precisely measure the output. Um, but I'm going to do a quick demo here to show how much fluid that these can uh, put out.
I have this little experiment set up here. Over on the left, I have a cup of water. On the right, I have my power supply here, and it's hooked up to this pump. So if I power this on, you can see that it shoots out a lot of liquid. Um, this actually might be too much, but um, maybe somehow we can, you know, use like a butterfly valve or something to um, control how much fluid is uh, pushed out through this thing. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Don't forget to check in with us next week because next week we're going to be working on the electronics, starting some of that, and we're going to be mounting the uh, mixer pumps. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to check out updates on this video as well as our other videos like the Raspberry Pi chatbot. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on things we could do to improve this bartender, please leave them in the comments below because we would definitely like to hear about it. But until then, see you next time. And I got a bottle of ginger fuck gin. <laughs> ginger fuck. <laughs>